Namaste! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time joining, I am Katanjali from New York, New York. Today's vlog is about how I save to travel. And the reason I'm doing this vlog is simply because I have received a lot of questions via my Instagram travel account, where is Gatanjali, and here through my YouTube channel asking, Hey Gatanjali, how do you afford to travel so much? Okay, I will share in this vlog the five techniques slash strategies I have been using for the last seven years to help me with saving for my travel. All right, let's get into this. Strategy number one is to create a budget. It, it doesn't matter if you're trying to accomplish a travel goal or invest in a home or save for your child's college tuition. Creating a budget is very important. So how does my budget look like? I have an Excel workbook and in my Excel workbook, I have 12 tabs. Each tab represents each month of the year. And in each tab, I have a standardized template where I have two columns. The first column is my monthly income. And I'm very thankful because I have a full-time job, so I have a monthly income coming in every month. And my second column is my monthly expense. Now, in my second column, for my monthly expense, I have categories. And I'll give a couple examples. So I have a category for my mortgage, my maintenance, my utility expenses, my phone bill, my water bill, etc. And then I have another category for my savings. And then I have a category that I have for miscellaneous, like entertainment, going to the museum, if I want to go to the movies, if I want to go to a bar, if I want to go to a restaurant. And then I also, most importantly, have a category for my savings. Now, it's very important to calculate your monthly expenses as well as your monthly income and then compare the two. Your monthly expense should never exceed your monthly income. And if you find yourself in that boat, then that's not good. Okay, so let's get into this. After you identify what your monthly expense looks like, then it's very important to review, revisit all the categories and see where you could cut costs. For instance, in my monthly expense, I have a phone, my phone bill. And a few weeks ago, I contacted my phone provider and I asked, I was trying to see what could be a better plan for me. And I was able to get a family plan where I cut that bill in half. And the family plan is where I am able to share the data my text messages, and my minutes with my father and my mother. So that extra cash, I move into my travel savings bucket or category. So here the goal is to make sure that you revisit your expense and see how you could allocate or you could shift money around. Strategy number two is to live as a minimal, shop less, only buy things that you need. Growing up, my dad would give me $200 once a year and I would get that money in August. And he would tell me, you know what? Do whatever you want with that money. So that $200, I would need to use it to buy clothes, to buy new sneakers, to buy a book bag, and to buy school supplies that will last me for the whole year. So basically what I'm trying to say is that at a very young age, I was taught how to manage with li little. And as I got older, I became very disciplined. When I started earning a paycheck, I was able to allocate that funds wisely. And now traveling is a very important goal for me. So I try to adapt the same strategy I learned as a child. And we're human, so we buy stuff out of emotional intelligence. 
but just look at the items and just don't buy it because if traveling is a priority to you then you do not need to invest that extra cash in something that will not add value to your life whereas you could just invest that money in traveling and make memories and have it with you throughout your this journey in life also i would highly recommend you cancel all your subscription and your cable and your Amazon Premium, pretty much you could get all of this stuff on YouTube or on Google. Strategy number three is learn to say no thank you to yourself. What do I mean by this? Living in New York City is very expensive. So going out on like a Friday night or any night in the week um, or on the weekend, it, it's expensive and it adds up. Sometimes going out on the weekend to in a group to celebrate a friend's birthday it could run you up to maybe a hundred per person because you have to pay for the friend, right? That person's birthday as well as yourself and tips and, you know, we go out, we have shots, we go crazy and, and it adds up. Whereas you could just invest that money in going to like Colombia or, or going to Thailand and spend her two or three days there and you know invest that one hundred dollars in you know food there for like three days basically what i'm saying is not to go out if traveling is a priority to you and it's a goal you want to accomplish it's something you desire then you must sacrifice so in this case yeah, go out with your friend and celebrate, but maybe go for happy hour, have a drink or two, and go to a dive bar, or go during restaurant week, where, you know, you have, like, um options, deals you could choose from. Strategy number four is credit cards. So this strategy may not apply to everyone. Uh, it, it's very important to have very good credit or excellent credit in order for this strategy to be applicable to you. And I have invested in credit cards such as Expedia where I would book all my trips through Expedia, Expedia and I earn points there. Make sure you have the cash handy when you get the credit card pay off the bill and you earn the points as you go and you could use these points to invest in future trips that you have or maybe um in a tour or a restaurant or the hotel so do more research on that strategy number five is to invest in other gigs but please be sure to consult with your human resources in your company to make sure you're not violating protocols and also make sure that these gigs are not interfering with your full-time job, right? Because that's where your source of income come from, your full-time job. So I have uh, several gigs I'm involved in. I am a Yelp elite. What does that mean? I give reviews on re restaurants and bars, on museums, on hotels or wherever I travel to. And I represent my community, which is Queens, New York. My second gig is I am a travel blogger, a leisure travel blogger. So I write about my travels and I collaborate with other travelers. We exchange ideas and we if we stay at a hotel or at a or we tra or if we travel through an airline they um they pay for our trips where in return we give reviews third gig is i am a tutor so i do online tutoring i tutor mathematics fourth gig is through my travel account with where I collaborate with other travelers or hotels or airline companies or restaurants. And, if, and when I visit their cities, I post pictures of um, where I stay and I write like a little caption and in return, I get a credit. And now I'm doing YouTube videos and I'm hopeful in the future, if I become an influencer here, I would be able to um, to to get some kind of credit as well. I'm, I'm very hopeful that 
These strategies could help you. Just remember our environment and economy is constantly changing. So we need to make sure we adjust accordingly and, um, and reallocate our expenses as needed. And one very important principle I live by, just remember we all have our own journey. So enjoy it and never ever compare yourself to anyone else. With that said, if you like to see any of my future videos, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you so much. Stay healthy and safe.